Hello everybody, welcome back to Tactical Breach Wizards. Last time we completed kind of the tutorial mission and the first main mission. And with our squad of two here, Jen and Van, we are ready to upgrade. Van has got enough XP to increase one of their abilities. So three bot bursts can get plus one damage, or we can have supportive fire once per turn when a teammate uses their standard attack, take a free shot at that target. Or for our predictive bolt, we can go with Conviction. If the shot knocks someone out, it can be used again this turn. Or Validation. If the shot fires on your gun, on your turn, gain one mana. Uh, I think I'm going to be a basic, basic beach and just take plus one damage. Although once per turn, when a teammate uses their standard attack, take a free shot. I think that could be a lot of free damage if we can stack up regular actions over and over again so we'll try that here is our map we don't have any new things so dsr is the the region that we're in sure oh my god is this gonna go really out into the the great yonder these say that they're unread but they're definitely not unread i definitely read them Uh, then we have our mission. So, Out for Blood and Traffic Warlock were a combo, apparently. Sure. I don't know what the star means, but we seem to be going towards Act 2. Uh, we have one confidence and two confidence. Not enough to spend anything with. Let's move on. Didn't like that guy. Right? Steve was always an asshole, but he's never actively thrown a ghost car at me before. New low. Let me get back. Can you scry again to find out where they took banks? Oh, no need. Blood scrying updates in real time for up to 36 hours. Shit, that's impressive. Can't beat blood for utility hexes. Where is she now? North by 80 kilometers already. Is that possible? Is she moving? Give me a sec. Yes. Extremely yes. God, like 400 meters since you asked. They've got a chopper. Of course they've got a chopper. Man, chasing a multi-million dollar PMC's best operatives by public transport is surprisingly hard. Where do you think they're headed? Liberally. Reactor has a black site where, west of Aldo, nice quiet place where they can do what they want to prisoners like banks. Then I guess we're going to Liberally. Yeah. In like 14 hours when the next ferry leaves. We can stay at your mom's place tonight? Yeah, she'd love that. She should be back from bingo now, actually. Back to Mars for a nice cup of tea. Oh lordy, you didn't tell me we were having company, Zan. I would have cleaned. God, what must that duck think I've lived in filth? I actually think it's lovely, Mrs. Vesca. This is Jen. Do you remember I mentioned her? You know I don't remember her my own name half the time, duck. Lovely to meet you, though, Jen. Can I get you a brandy? Or something stronger? Uh, what's stronger than brandy? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Duck. A woman after my own heart. Zan, you didn't finish the Skullcracker, did you? You finished the Skullcracker, Ma. In June. Oh, nonsense. He's a terrible liar, this one. A liar and a drunk. Takes after his father, I suppose. <laughs> and his Ma. Oh my god, Ma. Now... How long will you kids be staying? Just the night, if that's okay, Ma. Of course, love. Stay as long as you like. Where are you off to tomorrow? Liberally. Oh, how wonderful. You must take Jen from the Naval Museum in Aldo. You remember where I used to take you on your birthday. Oh, she'd love it, Zan. We're there to stop a team of Black Ops wizards torturing a hostage and starting World War V, Ma. I'm not sure there'll be time for the museum. Oh, such a lovely country, Jen. Not like here. Didn't you and Dad flee your lives because of a farmer corps tried to kill him for whistleblowing? Well, every country has its problems, Duck. How have you been, Jen? I have. Oh, have you been? Actually, it's where Zan and I met when I did my mandatory tour. Oh, so you know. Lovely. I expect he's told you his origin story. That's not what we call it, Ma. And I'm sure she doesn't want to. Oh, I absolutely want to hear your origin story. Oh, God. Don't, have, don't we have a map to update? I saw your map. It's lovely to see you doing crafts again, Duck. 
I'm glad someone's finally using those witched thumbtacks. I bought that box in 1943 and I've scarcely made a dent. What's it about? Uh, I offered to help with some organizing of some things. I had a system. Just never got around to making the system. Ah, oh, you've got your father's spirit, Zan. Oh, that's sweet. No, he had a terrible spirit. Just a dog shit spirit. Ma, well, I'm sorry, but that would have given up on anything. I once saw him giving up on a spoon. Slipped out of his hand and he just left it there. Ate pudding with his fingers. Flimsy soul too. A reasonable amount of chat. Uh, okay. Let's get Liv's team on here. Um, Ori Cash takes orders from Liv Kennedy. Steve Clark takes orders from Liv Kennedy. And the mana stockpile. Ma's place. Zan's Ma was good enough to put us up while we figure out our next move, and her place is off the map. Uh, it was. Right, the drugs were stored at the Stonecliff lockup. And Bori Cash burned the drugs. And here's the black site. Zan thinks this is where they're taking banks in the direction I feel them heading it banks up. What are we drawing? Oh, they were taken to here. Hey, that will make sense to me. No rush if you want to rearrange anything. Nope, that's all good. We're out of brandy, so I made tea. Do you really want the story? It's long-ish. Of course. Oh, you'll love this, Jen. Building it up isn't helpful, Ma. Okay, so there was Riasi in 78. We were on escort duty for an RNS diplomat. Our APC driver, Valdini, she's hearing a noise she doesn't like from the chassis. We pull over, and of course the FNG she sends me under there to check, and I find three kilos of plastic. Colored wires, blinking red light, the works. I don't know if I have seconds or minutes before it blows. I don't even have wire cutters. All I can think is to rip the wires out at once. But as soon as I think that, there's this flash of pain, so sharp I think it's blown already, but it's still there. So I think about just ripping out the green wire and flash, it hits me again. Then I think about ripping out the blue wire, though, nothing. I see myself doing it, clear as day, so I do it. Red light goes off and I just fucking collapse. And that's it, that's how I unlocked. Adrenaline, delirium and a desperate need to exactly to do exactly what it turns out I can, can do. So... He was defusing a bomb and went through all the options to not die. I don't know where he gets it, Jen. Not a magical bone in my body, nor your father. Especially not your father. He'd suck the magic right out of anything. It's not hereditary, Ma. But you might have something. You've just never been in a life or death situation that required it. But it's certainly not shut your father up about the quickest route down to town after 5pm. That all came up like I thought it was my life was over every time. We better get some rest. First to Liberty is at 7am. Complete Act 1. Act 2. Extraction. First ferry to Liberty. 95 minutes late. So my contact got back to me. She knows a guy who delivers supplies for reactor. He's gonna let us ride in with a shipment of bathroom supplies and pornography. Always ride in style. If we drop World War 5... If we do stop World War V, I hope someone gives us a lift home. Banks hasn't moved, which fits with her being held at the black site. If she's still there, Liv's still there. My gut says they need her for something. If you're right about the stakes of this, we need to get there yesterday. I feel like we've moved about four inches in two hours. Yeah, this is torture. I'm going to find somewhere to kip. Been years since I've been on a ferry. This is the chats menu. Optional conversations that can be played at any time. If you just want to move on for now, you can always play them again later. Choices made in these don't affect the outcome of the campaign. What's your cat's name? Why are you so sure about this? All right, well, I think it's time we got to actually doing some more missions, so. Zan's brain, bear with it. Hi? Hi. Oh wait. Are you really here? Explain where here is, then ask me again. Shit, sorry, I think you're in my dream. 
This happens sometimes. My foresight runs while I'm asleep and it can drag into other casters if they're dreaming too. Gonna need some clarity on runs wild. Well, okay, it runs combat drills. Combat's when I use it most, so that's what it knows. We're about to fight a completely meaningless battle. Yeah, sorry. I can kill you if you'd like. That'll probably wake you up. Nah, I'm good. I could use the practice, to be honest. I don't get shot much in typical PI work. Yeah, they're not bad for building confidence. All right, let's breach. Interesting. Oh, traffic warlock. What is this? Is this air canister? Causes three knockback to all adjacent targets if damaged. Well... I'd say that's gone well. Is that just to teach us about canisters? Yeah, there's usually a bit more to them than that. Want to do another? Zone one of one clear. Dream training, standalone challenge missions, proving grounds, replayable survival challenges. Oh wow, there's like loads of stuff going on here. Alright, well, I want to get to this campaign. It's been 12 minutes and we haven't got to this campaign. Banks is definitely close, my scry is popping off. You okay? You're sweating. Just out of practice. Okay, what are we looking at in there? Automated turrets, they're tough, but if you can get them close to you, you can shut them down. That seems like a security oversight. Not a documented feature, just hold the stasis button and tap reset three times. God bless military engineering. Oh, that is a big turret. Disable any turrets, seal reinforcement doors, knock out all enemies. Goody. Um, let's go here. There. Cover. And we can go here, Intel, cover. That is an electrified wall. Inflicts damage when knocked into. One stun, a stunned person can't do anything for that many turns. Okay. So if we take a stat, oh, there's a line of sight problem with that. Sure. Oh God. Okay. Things are getting more intricate. We can see how many rooms we're doing. I guess one, two, three, four for the mission. Uh, take cover. Is this like super heavy? Can't be knocked back, I guess, by the, the one weight by saying one stability reduces incoming knockback by this much. Okay. Understood. Man, we really don't have. Great line of sight on stuff. shot a turret down. But it's not... It's not great for it. Uh, 
They still have all their health. I'm no closer to this turret. If you take a standard attack here, do we shoot them too? They do. Okay, cool. If I move to here, fire on that. That didn't do as much damage as I thought thought it was gonna but they are still focused on them which is interesting oh we have other turret problems though oh dear okay turn off turret then take cover god there's a lot more moving parts these days isn't there Love the free shots, though. Uh, you're still focused over here, so we can take cover again. If we get to here, we cannot take cover. Um, that's a problem. If I take cover here, we are able to deal with both. Actually, undo that. No, we don't have any mana. Fine. Hit them. Take cover. They just won't stop, will they? Seal the door. Then you... Blast them. You take a additional shot. Then you get them. Everyone take cover. Uh, disable any turrets, knock out all enemies. I assume the enemy is the turret. Otherwise, I'm being dumb. Okay. The moving parts is definitely upped, but I'm okay with this. Okay with this. Prevent two reinforcements in total. Finished it by turn three. We took eight turns. Jeez. I see a control terminal for this turret. We can reach that. We can do better than turn it off. We can mess with its targeting recognition. You get to it. Try L. Kennedy and Philidor 7-7. You think they've programmed every turret? No, but she always insisted on having admin level access to friendly security systems since Meldil in 81. I'd ask, but we don't have the time. Let's get in. Let me try something. I have an old trick. What old trick? Read the description of False Prophet and use it to make the turret waste its shot. False prophet, new. Send out a false premonition of yourself, which expires at the end of the 4C phase. Enemies believe it's real, but aren't forced to target it if there's a better option. So, Zan needs to move here. Grab intel. False prophet. There? Three bolt burst here. And Jen finishes that job. Nice. Uh, seal all reinforcement doors. Door, sonic blast, 
and turn. Swift. Zan, you're pale, man. You sure you're okay? I do feel rough, to be honest. Churning out suicidal time clones of yourself never feels great, but this is different. Does something bite you? Mark on your neck? Does it look like one on your arm? Huh? Should we abort? Not an option. I ride left already. Well, Banks is a doctor. Breaking her out of this dive should earn us a checkup, right? Oh, good point. Wanna hang back? I can probably figure out something else here by myself. No, I'm good to fight. Thanks, though. Okay? Because I was absolutely bluffing. Could be a fucking tank in there for all I know. Uh, think human-shaped, but you're not far off. Oh, hello, big guy. Heavy gunner. Knock out all four enemies. Seal all reinforcement doors. Cause predictive bolt to fire before the four C phase. Finish by the end of turn three. Alright, turret. Doors. Intel. More intel. We don't have other breach options. So. Get over here. Breach that. This guy's also a heavy. Uh, I kind of wasn't expecting that to uh, move us over a tile, but I guess that makes sense. Um, if we grab this intel, we can false profit to here. Uh, no. We can false profit to here. While they're false profiting... Oh, we can't make the turret. Damn. Alright, let's reconsider this. I guess neither of us are making it far enough to make the door. Alright then, well, back to closer to the original plan. One armor. Incoming direct damage is reduced by this much. Doesn't affect damage taken from hitting walls. I just want to know. Okay. Um, if we... Move here. Grab intel. Time boost. Gen. Gen. Static blast. Deals with that guy quite comfortably. love to get to the turret. Turret is hacked. Don't have line of sight for those. Don't know what our order of operations is here, but probably be fine. I'm okay with this. We go and do this door. Can we deal with the rest? This seems like it hasn't worked out well for my expectations, must be said. I would really like to get the door this turn. Also, that 
is a huge problem. Uh, if I want to deal with this, do we need to keep this turret alive? Perhaps. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to move, please. That's fun. But not sufficient. Oh, come on. There's got to be a perfect move here. Found it. Nice. Hey, when you started to feel sick, was it like a swarm of red hot locusts were nesting in your pancreas? I would have said hornets, but yeah. Okay, I think we've both been poisoned. Just hasn't hit me full on yet. Jen, I'm so sorry. I can barely walk. I might be done. No, no, no. You're going to be fine. Just hang back and rest up. Bank's cell is right there. I'm just going to clear the room, bust her out, and she'll fix you up in no time. Simple. Oh, he's like... He's got real problems. Zan is poisoned. His movement is restricted, and he'll lose one health at the end of every turn. Oh, God. Okay. How many enemies we got? Two reinforcement doors. A turret. What are these? Explosives? Explosive barrels. Okay. Um, and there's this guy up here as well. That's quite a kawinky dink. If I blast you into that turret, into that barrel... Barrel moved, but you did die. Okay. Oh, goody. Why does this suddenly feel like one that I'm supposed to lose? <laughs> Zan is in real, real trouble. Alright. Seal the door. Saturating fire. Heavy gunners lay down so much fire that you'll take one damage even though you're in cover. It's still a lot better than taking the full hit, though. Goody. Real, real goody. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, okay. That's bad. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> um... I guess they're out of the way. I really want 
to get to this turret control. Okay, let's just see what happens if we end with him down. Be targeted by four tracker enemies at once. Yeah, that's good fun, isn't it? being stood by this explosive for sure there's the cell didn't even notice that over there and it looks like the heavies aren't our problem anymore so with enough cover we might be okay Thank you for letting me deal with that. This is not efficient, but it is safe. And they're not smart enough to use the explosives, I guess. Good grief. Are we still alive? I guess so. Please, I know you hate me. I know you won't save me. But please, don't let Zan die. He's never crossed you. He's just trying to stop something terrible. What? Excuse me? Noakes Bar, that night. I used to be a surgeon. Rushwater General. I was good. Until I started to shake. I knew the symptoms. Strybeck Syndrome. Degenerative. Incurable. Terminal. But I couldn't lose that job. I just couldn't... I couldn't just wait to die. So I hid it. And it worked for a while. I was good enough to compensate. When the kid came in, I honestly thought I was his best shot. I was wrong. I knew it was a bad cut before I saw the blood, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. The bottom dropped out of my stomach. It was over in seconds. My brain was on fire. Every atom in me was screaming for an undo button on my life. And a pop, a rip, a snap. And it was undone. The cut? Not just the cut, the whole sternotomy. It means the chest wasn't open anymore. My clamps were sheared off. He sat up. Never heard a room full of attendants scream before. Best we could tell his body had gone back on about an hour. The anesthetic wasn't in his system, but a prep drug was. So it turns out I can rewind people. It was another month before I figured out they had to be dead first. So if they're only unconscious, I have to shoot them first. You understand. If I'd waited for you to die, sending your body back an hour might not have been enough. The toxin could already be in there. Next time, I want a regular doctor. I thought she was a regular doctor. There's a skull on her belt. A red flag, sure, 
but not a slam dunk for necromancer. I'm not a necromancer. You just raised us both from the dead. That was today. Necromancers raise zombies. Do you feel like a zombie? I do feel incredibly bad, yes. Then I prescribe a brandy. Three? When did you get back? She was a surgeon. Cute story, but try a shorter version for your next set of zombies. Okay, so we weren't shot to death. And perhaps we have a new friend? Infiltrate reactor's black site, complete. Extract Dessa Banks, complete. Get entire team fatally poisoned and shot in the head. Not in the plan, but yes, complete. Uh, doesn't look like we have a new playable character here. But, Jen? Refreshing Jolt. Once per turn, refresh your move after firing. Interesting. Chain Bolt, plus one target. Stronger finish. Gale Grenade, plus one use per encounter. Second Wind. Refreshes the move of any friendly targets in the blast. Storm Grenade. If thrown directly onto an enemy, lightning strikes them for two damage. Decisions to make. And we've got a Hurtful Lie on False Prophet. Prophet fires Seer's main attack at a nearby target before exploding. That's fun. Persistent Delusion. If the Prophet dies before it disappears, your mana is refunded. Useful Fiction. Prophet interacts with anything it can before expiring. Ooh, I like that for closing doors and changing turrets and stuff. Let me just check supportive fire. No limit on how many times supportive fire can trigger per turn. Well, right now we only have one basic main attack, so I don't think that helps us, but it does suggest we might get more allies. So useful fiction, confirm. And over here. No limit on how many times refreshing drop can re trigger once per turn. Refresh your move after firing. So if they give an extra action, we could go fire move, fire move. You can target plus one enemies each time you cast for the same mana cost. You can still choose the target, one target fewer if needed. Plus two not back to final target. I'm going to take a second Gale Grenade, I think. Okay. On the map. Everything's marked as unread again, but we know all of that stuff. We extracted at the black site. We've got dreams. We've got chats. We almost have enough for a different outfit if we want it, although... What I really want is this. Like, if it comes with snow, that's just great. Uh, but our perks are done. Two perk, two perk refunds available. I don't need perk refunds. We're good. That's a very good hat. You're a very good hat. Okay, we've exhausted the marketplace of ideas. I'm going to bed. Wait, I've got something for you. Your dog tags? They're my vessel. Keep them with you and you'll get some of my brain. Future. Eyes. Your foresight? It won't be as clear as what I see, but it should be enough to save your ass now and then. Zan, I don't know what to say. No one's ever given me their vessel before. Well, you just saved my life for the second time in two days. I was barely conscious in there and somehow you carried it. Kind of fuzzy on it myself. But also, you trusted me on this one thing from the jump. No one's... No one's had that kind of faith in me in a long time. It's nice to have a geopolitical crisis as an excuse to reconnect. It is, right? Alright, that's my sincerity limit for the night. Back to mocking your tactics tomorrow. And back to mocking your age if you last that long. Oof. Back to the bar, late in the morning. 
All right, what's next? I've got to meet my contact in Galipa, pay him for the ride, and see if he's got anything new. What company? Can I pet the cat? No. Uh, one company? No, it'll only spook him. You two see the sights. Well, speaking of people you haven't paid, we broke you out of torture prison. And if you want to finish the job, you could get my gear back. I thought I did. You used it to reverse us. That's my res bag. They also took my ghost skull, Gary, and my tibia of trauma transference. The skull in your bag? That's not ghost skull, Gary. That's the, Did that skull look like a Gary to you? I firmly believe anyone can be a Gary. Takes all kinds, I guess, but no. That was obviously Nigel. React to Black Sight, Armory Wing. I'm going to swing by the armory today. How do those flasks work? Is it uh, Skink Tears Base or Hex Sap? They're just drugs. I just throw drugs at people. All right, let's do this. Okay. Do our mission, new hero. Move, sedative cocktail. Throw a flask that leaves everyone in a one tile radius sedated. Lose one health per turn and unsteady, plus one to incoming knockback. Both effects can be stacked. Sedative damage happens at the end of the 4C phase and ignores armor. Resurrect, one mana. Revive a nearby body with full health and one mana. If used on a living ally, kill them first. Death's Door, one use per encounter. Create a portal on a wall. Anyone pushed into the portal won't come out again until after the fight. They come back an hour later with a thousand yard stare and craving for beetles. Okay. That seems like a very sensible start to proceedings. Oh, so a one tile radius is a three by three. Lovely. Uh, use Death's Door to eliminate a hostile. Done. Remember, these guys are optional. Finish by the end of turn three is turn two. So these guys are slowly going to die. If we stack that, they'll die this turn. I'm cool with that. Okay, let's throw that here. Seems very efficient, doesn't it? I would like to get to these doors. We don't really need the cover, but we'll take it. We do this and seal the door and static blast you into the wall. Then you're not my problem anymore. Hopefully soon they will not be feeling great. Grab the intel. Revive a nearby body with full health and one mana. If used on a living ally, kills them first. Revive enemies, consider everyone hostile, and to stand for one turn and cost no mana to res. Interesting. Okay, well, they are closer to me than anyone else, so I don't want to do that. That will stack. We can foresee they die, end turn... Sure, you move here, use laptop, mission done, or well, room done. Very nice.
Okay, what's behind this door is not good. Specifics? I don't know. These tags don't give me a clear picture like Zan has, but it feels kind of blammy. Then you should go first. Oh, real nice. Look, if you can raise the dead too, just shout and I'll waltz right in there. But if not, you're the only one who can safely die today. I don't like any part of that sentence. Especially the part where you're right. Um, oh, goody. Danger. Moving to this tile will result in taking damage. Proximity mine. So. Step one. They can be gone. Step two. Resurrect Jen. I'm going to need mana for that. <laughs> Alright, Jen is up. Uh, I would like to death door over here. I cannot see that. Reactor neutralizer phonics. Well, targeted by neutralizer's beam, can't use any spells. I mean. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a problem. Gross. Well then, I'm assuming a sedative cocktail might do the trick in between turns. Oh, I can't even seal the door because the sealing a door is a um, a hex thing. All right, you're still poisoned. Seal the door. Uh, this isn't going to work. I'm going to move to here. Death's door there. No. Death's door there. Can we push that guy through that death's door? Super. Then move, seal the door, 4C, end turn, back top. Great. Oh, double room? Alright, we're here. They stash my stuff in the next room on the way to the cells. That's what we're looking for. Vessels or channels? I don't know what that means. I only know the word arcana from TV. No one taught you how to do this stuff? When you summon the living dead in an operating room, no one shows up with a free ride to wizard school. The cops show up with a free ride to a lab tank, and if you get out of that alive, you're out, you go underground. Sorry, I didn't mean to patronize. I'm just impressed you can use vessels untrained. Explain vessel. The key you use to open portals. If an item lets you do something different than your main craft, it's a vessel. Another caster carried it long enough that you picked it up, some of their craft, so your key. A dealer in a skull mask gave me that for resing her partner from a ketamine overdose. Okay, so she probably had a sideline in the Eldritch gateways. Then anything that just improves your mana craft is a channel. So a wand is a channel and a broom is a vessel. Oh my god. I mean, it's not brain surgery. No, I completely forgot about my broom. Oh my god, that's going to make things so much easier. Can we fly to a different window? That'd be hilarious. Um, okay. We have no choice on where to redeploy. So we will breach here. I would like that door to be done immediately. Broom breach. Oh, hold on. Jump through an adjacent window and re-enter the room from any other window as long as the space is clear. Interesting. 
But we're really getting getting a toolkit, aren't we? Right, we'll breach here. So we can go to any other window. Okay, well right now, I don't want to do that. Right now. I want to know how far back we'll push you. Not far enough. Just one? And Gail Grenade won't move you at all. Ah, oh, this sucks. How am I going to deal with this guy faster? Also, this door is not my friend. Well, we can use the broom to get past this 50 cal overwatch. Sure, but we still have to deal with this room first. Eight damage. Saturating fire, if we're in cover, we'll still take one damage. Okay, here's what we can do. I've got the move. We're going to move to here. We are going to sedative cocktail this guy. Then death door behind them. Then the sedative cocktail moves means they move twice as far. Then we can seal this door. You might as well grab this intel. Read the description of Broom Breach and use it this turn. Ah, oh, really? This turn? I had the perfect turn. Well, at least we can seal that door from here. We can still grab that intel. And use that laptop. Swiss Army Life. Have the team use 10 different abilities in one turn. Wow. Um... That's Resurrect. Don't have time for that. Okay, we just need to get rid of this door, please. Sorted. Love to see it. Retrieve Ghost Skull Gary. Retrieve the Tibia of Trauma Transference. Remember, Jen has a broom. Spend each character's perks. Sedative Cocktail Drowsy, plus one sedated to all targets. Lightheaded, plus one unsteady to the central target. Stings, all targets also take one damage on impact. Death Door, plus one use per encounter. Intercept, if a target is pushed into the tile in front of the portal, it will pull them in. Ooh, interesting. I think I'm just going to take a second use of that for now. I don't know what perk refunds are, but I don't think we need them. Otherwise, we've got nothing else to offer out. Map. Mars Place doesn't have any lines. That's not changed. We finished Necromedic. Dreams. Chats. Outfits. Can't afford anything. 
What have you got to work with though? Funeral Chick, Frontier Medicine, WizTac, Cult Phase, Med School, Death MD. That's a lot of fun. I approve. All right, we'll get through some chats and then hopefully start faster to the action next time. Banks, if you're ready to talk about it, did you ever learn why they took you? Liv wanted me to kill her. I'm sorry? Three times since we reached Liboli. She disappeared for a few hours, then come back sweating and shaking and order me to kill and res her. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. She seemed sick. Elevated pulse, sweating, dilated pupils, dilated nostrils, tremors, but I'm a surgeon. Diagnosis isn't my field. That's not what we had. After And after you rewound her? Calm, vital picture of health, and she didn't bitch about the whole thing like some people. Glares at Zan. Was she doing something in that hour that made her that way? If there's something that takes you from healthy to that inside of an hour, I advise against it. Damn, that is tantalizing. I don't like unanswered questions. Really, I live for them. I know what poisoned you if it helps. Despite what I just said, yes please. It's a slow-acting poison the Druid Mafia use. Thistle Kiss. You had needle thing puncher marks before I rezzed you, and Liv just hired a druid hitman. Oh shit. Okay, I have to say that's pretty smart. You don't have to say that. It's optional to say that. How do you kill a guy who sees everything coming? You don't let him know that he's been hit until it's too late. Whose side are you even on? Yours, of course, but I'm freelance, so if she has a paid position... Well, you'll have to be fast. My contact says Liv's briefing her team tonight before they ship out. If they're going quick, if we're going quick and quiet, we might learn their next move before they make it. Thanks, we're square. But if you're up for this, we could certainly use your skills. Oh, I'm coming. After what they did to me, the next time I shoot Liv Kennedy in the head, she's staying in the fucking ground. An uncomfortable silence. Well, this is a reconnaissance mission, so we might need to reclarify engagement objectives en route. But let's go. Black Sight Headquarters, the night of the briefing. All right, suppression aura is cast, no alarms in this room. If they take the room clean, they won't hear us coming. Well, you guys will have to wait until next time to see what's coming through that door for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.